So I've been using this iPhone 13 Pro Max since it released about 18 months ago, and I've been using it as my main phone and then some every single day with heavy, heavy usage for that time span. I have not used the iPhone 14 Pro Max for longer than a week. I went right back to the 13 Pro Max after using the 14 Pro Max for a while because I thought to myself, this gets me 99.99% .99 of the way there, so why spend the 11, 12, $1,300 on a 14 Pro Max? So in this video, what I wanna talk about is my long-term review, how I've been using it, what I use it for, if I recommend it after 18 months, and how long I think this phone could last as long as Apple continues to let us update this phone to iOS 17, 18, 19. This phone should last you for a very, very long time. But without further ado, let's talk about this 13 Pro Max, why I love it, what I use it for, and if I recommend it still in 2023. Let's get into it. So let's quickly talk about the design of the 13 Pro Max, because this is one of the things that probably hasn't changed in the last two, three years now at this point. So with the iPhone 12, Apple kind of changed up the entire design of the iPhone. They went from this kind of like soft side, these curved edges, these kind of more bubbly kind of feel in the hand to a more rigid, more industrial look, more flat and kind of boxy design overall. And it started that with the iPhone 12. So if you have an iPhone 12, you'll know exactly what an iPhone 13 look, looks like and it feels like. Same thing with the iPhone 14. When I had the iPhone 14 for that week, it felt exactly like my iPhone 13 Pro Max, except with a little bit bigger of a camera bump. Because outside of that, the design has stayed relatively the same and it probably will stay the same even with the iPhone 15 moving forward with a little bit of changes here and there. But from a design standpoint, I love the design, right? It's very premium, you have the stainless steel sides. Yes, those stainless steel sides are very fingerprinty to begin with, so definitely have a little cloth with you at all times if you want to get rid of those fingerprints. But I love that matte finish of the rear, which again is not a fingerprint magnet, it's the opposite, it's like a fingerprint repellent overall. So I do like the overall design that Apple gave us with the 13 Pro Max. It is pretty hefty in the hand, but hefty in a quality standpoint, not in a, hey, I'm gonna be tired of holding this thing for too long. And since this phone has been out for, again, 18 months now at this point, depending on when you're watching this, then we know what specs we have in here. So I'm not gonna kind of bore you with all these camera comparisons and things like that. You know, this does have the A15 Bionic. I went with a 256 gig version, so I stepped it up a little bit in terms of storage size. But again, the internals, they work well. It is an A series chip, and it's Apple's second latest and greatest at this point. So it runs everything extremely smoothly. So what I wanna do is actually show you guys how I use this iPhone and talk about what I use it for and how long it's lasted me and how long it's going to continue to last me if I continue to use it in this fashion. So the first thing are these kind of like smaller tasks, right? The everyday email, the everyday iMessage, the everyday scrolling through Twitter, things like that. This thing handles all that like a champ. The 120 hertz display, the ProMotion display makes everything feel super fluid, super nice to the touch, easy to navigate. So things like pulling up Safari quickly to look up maybe the age of an actor or an actress, you know, going on Twitter to kind of answer your threads or going through all that, going through your timeline is very seamless, going through Instagram, seamless, iMessage, all the native applications, they work and they work extremely well, extremely snappy. And I didn't see any difference between the, between the 14 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max, or at least enough of a difference for me to be like, oh wow, my experience scrolling Twitter is 100 times better and it's worth that $1,200 price point to go from the 13 Pro to the 14 Pro Max. So if you're coming from an older iPhone and you have the ability to get a 13 Pro Max over 14 Pro Max, and you know yourself, you know you're only gonna use it for those small medial tasks where you're just gonna maybe pull out your phone real quick to take a picture, or you know go on Safari real quick to look something up, or go to your iMessage and respond to a couple messages. All that's gonna work, and it's gonna work extremely well with zero issues whatsoever. But now I wanna talk about kind of those heavier tasks, those maybe workload tasks, those creative tasks that I do use my iPhone 13 Pro Max for. So the first thing that I'm gonna mention is that I use this main camera sensor, right? This 12 megapixel 4K camera to record 99.99% .99 of all my A-roll and B-roll on all these YouTube videos. Right now I'm actually using a 13 mini to record my A-roll. So let me know what you guys think about that because I did wanna use this one and show you guys and talk about the 13 Pro Max while having it in hand as well. All the videos that I create on 9to5Mac, all the videos that I've created on my personal channel, they all have been done with the 13 Pro Max and it's been working great, right? 4K 60, 4K 30, even things like cinematic mode still work extremely well as long as you have good lighting. So if you're in an enclosed studio and you have ring lights and you have natural light and you're able to light yourself extremely well, then this camera, there's no competition on the market, right? Aside from the 14 Pro Max, which is probably a teeny tiny bit better, but nothing to the point where you can kind of tell side by side, the 13 Pro Max still is top of game when it comes to videography on this thing. So if you're somebody that wants to start a YouTube channel or do YouTube shorts or go on TikTok or create some sort of content where video is involved and you need something quick, a point and shoot, 
13 Pro Max, if you can find it for cheap, is a great solution for that situation. And then when it comes to thumbnail creation, I do the same thing. The same 12 megapixel camera takes those same shots for these thumbnails, whether they're top-down shots, overhead shots, shots of myself, shots of actual products, whether it's dimmer, whether it's well lit, all the things that I do have been done on this camera system and they've been done extremely well. Yes, the ultra wide and yes, the telephoto lens, they lose a little bit of clarity. They lose some resolution, it seems like. So I kind of stay away from those, especially when doing some professional videography. I only use the main sensor, but that's really all you need, especially if you're in a well lit environment like I am right now. And then even the A series chip in here is good enough and powerful enough to actually get edits done on this thing. So I've used LumaFusion on the iPhone itself to create some YouTube shorts. And honestly, with five layers of video, two layers of audio, it exports in real time. I directly upload it to YouTube in 4K30 and it works extremely well. So if you need an all-in-one machine to maybe use as your computer, as your revenue generating machine, 13 Pro Max can handle all those tasks and then some. And at the end of the day, it's a phone, right? So you want it to do a couple things. You want it to be able to take pictures whenever you needed to take pictures, high quality images, whether it is a professional image or just a picture of your daughter or son, because you wanna have those memories. You want your iPhone in your pocket to be able to get that done. This checks that off. Battery life, yes, it's been 18 months, so my battery life is at 89% now. So that's something to consider, but I'm somebody that does not follow best practices with battery life. So my thing is always plugged into a MagSafe charger, brightness is always on high, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are always turned on. I don't do anything to help conserve my battery life, and I know a lot of people do, and we've made videos about that, but 89% is what you get if you use it heavily every single day with no regard for the battery health at all. So 89% is probably your worst case scenario 18 months into owning this iPhone. And even with that 89% battery life, I still get through an entire day. Yes, every now and then I'll run out probably towards the end of the night, but again, I'm recording a lot of the day. I'm using a lot of social media. I'm using things like LumaFusion on an iPhone, which is not meant to be used 100% of the time. So if you're just somebody that uses those smaller level tasks, Safari, iMessage, YouTube, Netflix, those smaller tasks, this is gonna work more than enough in order to get you through an entire day, even two years down the road. And then the last thing you want your phone to do is be able to maybe sustain a drop or two, right? It's gotta be durable enough with or without a case in order to get it done. Now, I know most people do wear a case. I, for the most part, keep the phone naked. Sometimes I'll rock a Pataka case, which is extremely thin. I do have a D-brand skin on the back just for a little bit of character, which I like to have. But I've dropped this thing a multitude of times. And I do have a couple nicks on the corners from dropping it on concrete, but screen is still intact, screen still works, no cracks on the screen whatsoever. So from a durability standpoint, this thing is going to last you a long time. So overall, the 13 Pro Max is a great phone. I still recommend it. If you can find it readily available, I recommend it to anybody looking to upgrade their older phone that doesn't want to spend the $1,200 on a 14 Pro Max. Maybe some people don't even like the dynamic island situation because Face ID in the notch is something that they're used to. So. If you can find the iPhone 13 Pro Max and you're in the market for an iPhone, it is a no-brainer if you wanna save some money. The thing is, the availability of 13 Pro Max is a little bit wary because of the fact that Apple no longer sells them directly from Apple. So you need to find a carrier that still has them new if they're still available, or you have to find them from Apple refurbished for somebody that's traded it in in that situation because right now Apple's lineup Yes, they still th sell the 13 and the 13 mini, but not the 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max. They sell the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, which makes total sense on their end. So if you find a 13 Pro Max readily available and you're on the market for one, and you do wanna save a few hundred dollars and not go with the 14 Pro Max, then this one is a no-brainer in my opinion. Battery life's gonna last for a long time. Apple's still gonna be able to support it with iOS updates for at least three more years. So I believe iOS 19 could be the last one that we get, but maybe even iOS 20. Let's see what Apple does. And it has not slowed down whatsoever for me. Battery life has taken a decent hit, overall about 10 to 11%, but that's more my fault than the phone's fault. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully this helps you guys decide what the 13 Pro Max is, what it stands, how it stands over time. And I'm, I plan on using this until the 15 Pro Max comes out or whatever Apple does with the 15 lineup overall. So every two years, I kind of upgrade my phone. This one is gonna last two years, no problem. So definitely recommend it. And I'll link maybe some sources of how to actually get it down below. But that's gonna do it for this video. Leave some questions and comments down below of what you guys think of the 13 Pro Max, what the longevity should be like and things of that nature. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And that's gonna do it for this video, everybody. If you wanna watch more iPhone, iPad, or Mac content, click on one of these videos right here. But until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here, everybody. Peace. 13 Pro Max, absolutely amazing phone.